Hello guys, my name is Patrick and welcome to my review of the Tom Clancy's The Division Beta, Alpha, and Closed Beta. So a lot of people didn't believe I actually played the Alpha, but I actually did, even though I had like gameplay from the Alpha, people still didn't believe me, but it doesn't really matter, like people don't expect a small channel like this to actually have played the Alpha. But I have played The Division for a while, like I said, ever since the Alpha I played the Closed Beta for whatever reason I got access to that too, and then the Open Beta, and I played a ton of um, these three builds of the game, and so I have like a, a large opinion on this, because I've played a ton of this game, i put a ton of hours into it, and I can really see this game get, getting boring fast. And the reason why I say this, because so far what we've seen is that there, there, there are two modes. There's a campaign and the dark zone. Now the campaign was sort of fun, I pretty I, I enjoyed that, but like it ended fast and yes it, it was a beta so there are only a couple missions. Obviously there's going to be a lot more missions and stuff like that in the full game. But once we finish that, I can just see it getting kind of boring. Like, I like the customization and loot elements in the campaign. Like, I think that's really cool. You can, like, loot, like, players like that and, like, bosses or whatever, AI. I think that's really cool in the campaign. I really like that. You can invite your friends and do it with them. So I really like, like that part of the campaign. But I can see it getting boring fast because, like I'll say in a while, I don't think there's a very good end game. And then the Dark Zone. The Dark Zone is probably my favorite, um part of these build of the game. I don't remember if they had the Darts in the Alpha or not. I don't I don't remember playing it in the Alpha, but they might have had it. But I did play in the closed beta as well as the beta. And the Dark Zone is this really cool thing. So pretty much what it is is this wide open area to explore and no one you're allies with except people you invite to your game. So there's just a bunch of people in this um in this area and you can choose to like like invite them to your group and kind of ally with them. But if not you're kind of just like on these like uncertain terms like you're, you're kind of like mutually agreeing not to shoot each other um, or else if you do shoot someone you'll go rogue and if you go rogue everyone can see them see you on their mini map and see you through walls and so you don't really want to go rogue except if you go rogue and then survive you get a big loot bonus or not loot bonus you get like you get a dark zone cash bonus which can help you buy stuff as you um, level up so that's pretty cool I like the whole rogue system as as you can like kill people and then go hide and then maybe do it with some friends you all go rogue and then hide in this place and I had a lot of fun moments in the dark zoning that like going rogue and then killing people or killing people who are rogues but the problem I had was with it was that there wasn't a ton to do because there weren't many rogues like there's AI in the world and if there's not any rogues the only people you can really fight is um, AI and so I found myself just fighting AI most of the time because there weren't a lot of people who went rogue but when you do go rogue, when you have like a squad of four people and you can defend an area, it's pretty fun being rogue and just watching your timer go from like 180 seconds being like level 3 rogue to like down to like 0 seconds and you get this big cash bonus. And it's pretty cool. I like that part of it. But again, I can see it getting really boring because I don't see there being a, a very, very good end game. Because think about it. Once you get like all this good loot and stuff, what is there really to do? You beat the campaign. You don't really want to battle AI anymore. And all there's really left to do is go to the dark zone. Now, their dark zone is going to be really cool and it's going to be really big and stuff. There's not going to be a lot of people going rogue in your dark zone. Even though your dark zone is more suited to your level, there's going to be a lot of people that aren't at endgame. There's not really much for them to do in the dark zone except battling AI. So I can really see the dark zone just being a place where people go in, battle AI, and kill rogues if there happen to be any. Which there's not really many rogues in the game, I've noticed. It's just... I really see the game getting boring fast. And my friends agree with me, even my friends who love these types of games have said like yeah we, we can see it getting boring fast and I played a ton of this game and when the beta was out and like my friends could play it as well I played it with them and I just sort of got bored like I played a couple hours and it just sort of got boring I went and hopped on like Black Ops 3 or something and yeah it, it was just a beta I know and there wasn't a lot of stuff to do in the beta but if it's just campaign and dark zone and even if like it's like there's a lot more missions and like a lot bigger dark zone or whatever although that would be cool I can see the game getting boring fast because of the lack of content in those areas and a poor end game. So if they can make the end game really fun, I can see this game being really great. But until then, I'm going to wait until the game comes out and just see how it is and what people think about it and see how good the end game is. Then I'm going to get it and level up from there as because I got Destiny like a year after it came out and it was still really fun even though I got it a year after. So I don't really think it will be much of a detriment to get the Tom Clancy the Division a couple months after it, get, after it comes out and see what people think about it. So yeah guys, that's going to wrap it up for this review of Tom Clancy's The Division. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Let me know if you want to see reviews for other games. I'm probably going to do one for Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2 beta. Actually, I think that game's out now, so I don't know how many people want my opinion on the beta of that game. But anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.